Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I'm sorry I have to make this video on the same exact day that I just made the other one. Um, so yeah, I'm making two videos in the same day. So, I had another question that came up. And... Let me find it. Alright, I know there's a question on here. I, I, I was just going through all my comments and I found a question that I wanted to answer and now I got to find it. So now I'm using a different camera. I'm using my Ghost XL and I just realized I can connect that to my phone and I can set the lighting on it as well. So right now, I'm, you know, I know I'm still experimenting with dip, you know, there's... You have to learn different things when you're in different settings. These cameras work fantastic for outside, but I've never really tried to adjust the aperture on the camera for a low light setting indoors and having light shining on me. So right now, I think this is absolutely beautiful. At least looking at it on my phone, it is absolutely beautiful, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to turn out beautiful for you to watch. So, uh, <laughs> okay, this guy says, finally got my hard green line and I can't eat anything without using adhesive still and even then the adhesive gives way halfway through a meal i wonder how i'm going to ever eat in public again without bringing a spare tube or powder of adhesive and going into a public restroom and inconspicuously applying it and you know that seems to happen to a lot of people and like i've stated before a lot of that has to do with, I don't know if, if this person is talking about their top denture or their bottom denture. I would assume they're talking about the bottom denture because that's the one that everybody, everybody has difficulty with. And it's because we eat incorrectly. And I've stated this before, it's because we don't eat properly with our dentures. We've gotten so used to eating and being able to jut our jaw out to take a bite of something or to scrape the bottom teeth on something because they were connected to the bones. And we've been doing that since we're about two or three. So we've gotten so used to doing that that it's, a, it's natural for us to do that. I can't say it's a habit, it's natural for us to do that. So we have to get think beyond the realm of natural and start figuring out how to eat properly by not jutting our jaws forward and by not putting so much pressure on the bottom denture trying to bite. The bottom denture just sits on the bone. There's nothing there to hold that denture in. And every time we bite on the front teeth and we do it incorrectly or we're pulling slightly or pulling slightly or we're jutting our jaw forward so that our molars don't line up but our front teeth do because we think our front teeth have to bite like this which is incorrect our front teeth are not supposed to touch like this that leaves a huge gap on the back teeth and it allows pressure to be put up on the bottom denture and pulls it away from your gums your front teeth are supposed to go slightly over your bottom teeth like a pair of scissors like that. And I've demonstrated this many times before, but I know not everybody's watched my older videos. So your front teeth, top front teeth, are supposed to go slightly over your bottom teeth like a pair of scissors. That's how we bite correctly. And if you're jutting your jaw forward, you're throwing the balance off in your mouth and you're putting a lot of pressure on your bottom front teeth, which is pushing them down, which is lifting the bottom teeth. And even if you have them glued in, enough lifting 
enough times and eventually that glue is going to come loose. Adhesive is made to hold your dentures from sliding back and forth and round, you know, and moving back and forth this way. It's not necessarily made to hold your teeth to your gums when there's being pressure being put up on it, pulled out. If that was the case, we'd never be able to take our dentures out. If it was made to hold against that, we wouldn't be able to put our thumbs in our mouth and pry the bottom denture up to get it out of our mouths when they're glued in. So they're not made to hold pressure this way. They're made to keep the denture in place and to keep pressure this way. Keep it from lifting on one side while you're chewing on the other, but they're not necessarily meant to keep pressure this way. So we eat incorrectly. All of us do. We've all started eating improperly with our dentures. We don't know any better. It's not something the doctors can tell us because they don't wear dentures and nobody ever goes back to the dentist and says, this is what I learned. If you tell your clients this, it might help them. No, we don't do that. We go to the denture, we'd go to the dentist and we bitch and complain until they get it the adjustments are done and everything and then we just figure okay this is it for the rest of my life and we don't go back and you know some of us very few of us would go back and you know our last visit or something and say hey thank you very much for what you've done but after we learn how to eat do we actually go back to the dentist and say hey this is what I learned and if you tell your clients this this will really help them out no we don't so I personally did go back to my dentist and ate an apple right in front of him, but it wasn't necessarily to tell him how to give other people advice. It was just to show him he was wrong about me needing implants on my bottom denture. And I kind of feel bad about that now. Well, he's retired now, so he retired six months after he did, or yeah, six months after he did my dentures, he was retired. So. I think that a lot of us, we just, we have issues with the bottom denture because we don't eat properly. So for the five and a half years I've had my dentures, I've learned how to eat correctly with my dentures. And I know I, this may seem silly to some of you for me to keep mentioning my YouTube channel where I teach people how to eat properly with their dentures, but it's helping a lot of people. And if you read the comments on that channel, it's amazing how many people now have gone completely adhesive free just from learning these little tricks and techniques. I suffered through all this stuff and learned all this stuff so you don't have to. But I'm not going to post those videos on this channel. Those videos, and somebody else asked me that too. Why did you start a new channel? Why couldn't you post those videos on this channel? Well, this channel has evolved because there's a lot of people that still watch this channel that have way past the learning process, but they still like to hear me talk and they like my videos and they like the information I put out. The other channel is specifically to teach people how to eat properly with their dentures. So you can check out that channel right here and hit the subscribe button over here. <laughs> and then down here, on either side of me Let's see if I can I can't get my thumbs to turn out that way on either side of me will be a video or a playlist you might want to watch I hope everybody has an amazing day I will see you in my next video don't forget to keep smiling keep trying and whatever you do never give up